In Excel, you can create scenarios and view different information on the same worksheet without any programming. Here we have a marketing budget and we also have a finance budget stored. And to see that information, I'll go to the Data tab, What If Analysis, and click Scenario Manager. So here are my two scenarios. I'd like to see Finance now, so I'll select that, click Show, and Close. And there's my finance data. There's no programming and the scenario manager lets me switch between the two views. If you're using Excel 2010, you could also add scenarios to the ribbon and make it easy to switch between them. Right click on the ribbon and click customize the ribbon. Here's what's available and here's what is currently on the ribbon. So I'm going to select all commands and before I can add a new command, I have to make a group for it. I would like to put this on the data tab with the other scenario information. Scenarios are in the data tool, so I'm just going to select that and click new group. So that new group appears right below data tools. This one I'm going to select and rename. I will call this scenario. Click OK. Now I have a new group and I can put the scenario command on that. So I'll scroll down and here's scenario. Select it. My scenario group is selected and I'll click add. So now it's going to show up on that new group on the data tab. Okay, so if I go to data now, here's scenarios. When I click this drop down, I can go to marketing or finance. We can also create a summary from the scenarios and that's another thing you could add to this group. There's a scenario manager. I will go in through what if analysis scenario manager. So there are two scenarios we're going to create a summary. There are two types of summary. One is a table and one is a pivot table. So I'm going to select scenario first. The result cell is what will change based on our changing data. So the profit will change based on whether we've got finance or marketing data. When I click OK, there's the table that it created. Now these colors are default. You can format it in a different way after you create it, but you can't select those options while you're creating it. It creates outline set up for you, so you can just see top level or level two. This table is set though. If we click on a cell, it's just a number. It's not a link or a formula. So if the scenario data changes, this will not update automatically. So you might want to print your summary and then delete the sheet and create it next time you need it, just so you're never sitting here with old data in your scenario summary. If I want to go back to the summary, I'm going to have to go back to the budget sheet because on a different sheet, it doesn't show you those summaries. If I go to my drop down, there's nothing available on this sheet. If I go back to budget, this is where those scenarios are stored. So the next thing I'll show you is the pivot table summary. So on the data tab, I'm going to what if analysis, scenario manager, and we'll create a different summary. And this time we'll do the pivot table report. Again, the same result cell, which is profit. And here's our pivot table. Now this time you can quickly change the design because it's a pivot table. You can use one of the other pivot table styles. So it's easy to change this. But again, the pivot table does not update automatically if the scenario data changes. If I go to options and try and look at the data source, I just get a warning that this was created in a way that isn't going to allow me to edit the source. It's not updatable. Print it and delete it is the best advice so that you're not going to have a pivot table with outdated information in it. For more Excel tips and tutorials and to see the written instructions or download the sample file for this video, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.